I think everyone's corrupt, but I think at least the shareholders, unlike the government, are interested in getting their profit back, which means they're actually interested in the company's productivity and success in most cases. Sometimes they pump and dump, and I would be totally cool with regulations to prevent that sort of why thing. Wouldn't, why wouldn't elected workers have that same interest, though? Not Why wouldn't they have the same interest to get their profit back? Like, why wouldn't they have the interest to run the company well? If the company doesn't do well, they make less money. Even if they're corrupt, wouldn't they also be monetarily I thought, I thought we were, Well, on the local level, sure. I, I thought we weren't talking about worker co-ops. We were talking about grant allocations. Well, with grant, we know that government grant allocations can be for the public good because we Sometimes, see it happen when it comes all, to But research. like subsidies also suck. Like part of the, like I'm from- Well, not subsidies, yeah. just grant allocations. Like if you think you have a promising business idea in downtown and there's like a space that's open, you can like submit a bid and say, well, what do I want to do with this space? Well, I would turn this into a barcade and here's some like concept designs that I have for the floor plan. And then you can make a case for it like at a town meeting or something. Let Hell, let the public decide, you know? Why that's should, awesome. why should uh, the public have to suffer the opening of a business no cares for right at a, again at a town sure because i think that at that level the well, well, well then how do, john but how do you then scale that to the fact that economies are not just localized to your town they're not you're almost ignoring the fact that That's you don't want economies to scale outside of a local area no I, I don't want this idea of governmental grant uh approval to generally scale um in all things out to the national level um, is it because government is icky or something? Like, I'm not following. I mean, kind of, uh, a little bit. You could well, John, you did say that, quote unquote, everyone is corrupt. Correct. It's true. Ooh, that's, a, that's a rough you one. You have to make that assumption anyway. Well, I think I worry about that because I feel like gov like everyone is corrupt is kind of a giant cope. Because in reality, like history is full of examples of organizations and people who have been noble or ignoble, people who have been competent or incompetent, people who have been truthful and not. And it seems yeah. like more often than not, it doesn't just because like saying, well, everyone's corrupt is kind of like a person defending capitalism and saying, well, everyone is greedy. That's not true. If you look anthropologically, humans rose to the top of our planet because of our cooperative abilities. And we, right. we try we try to rationalize like why things are. I think things are the way they are because of material interest. I think that for all of human history, it's been very easy to accumulate power and wealth in a small centralized hierarchy and as time has gone on we've tried to push back against that like we have liberalism we have the concept of democracy and we found that like because i feel like if you if you like went back a thousand years ago and you had like a bunch of peasants talking they'd be like wow our king is like a drunken incestuous murderous lunatic who like slaughters people <laughs> who disagree and then they're like oh everyone's like that if you are king you'd do the same they're like mm -mm. and it's like well no actually that's that's not true it's it be because maybe the institution of king makes monsters of men but men aren't necessarily like that and yeah. i think it's kind of like that you know worker co-ops already exist and people there tend to be happier and more productive and produce more wealth than people at traditional corporations so it's like yeah, maybe people aren't all corrupt maybe we can build systems well where people let me, let me, are happy. let me explain myself um when i say yeah everyone's corrupt i'm not saying that literally everyone everywhere is corrupt i'm saying that when you build systems especially just especially the larger you get right because the social fabric tends to get thinner the more you scale any system um you should make the underlying assumption that everybody is self -assured.